latte art's the meeting of these two viscous foams. That's taking a snapshot of that fluidity um, and representing it as a still picture. And if there's something wrong with either one of those foams, with either one of those mediums, the design's not gonna come out with the intended clarity or the intended design or just any intention at all. This entire tournament is a head-to-head -head bracketed single elimination. I expect to see a lot of passion, uh, a lot of baristas, a lot of geeking out about everything having to do with coffee, a fair amount of beer, some smack talking, and uh, just like a general sense of camaraderie and, and community building, which is really the primary focus of, of these kind of events. <laughs> The judges will compare the two drinks in regards to contrast, symmetry, balance, and definition. Whoever gets the most votes will then proceed on to the next round. The other person goes home with the tail in between their legs. There are essentially three basic latte art designs. The simplest design, ostensibly, that we have is called the heart, which is exactly what it sounds like. It looks like a heart in the cup. The second design that we have is a tulip, which is a natural progression from the heart in that it's a stop-start to then continue and put several hearts together in a layer that resembles the tulip flower. And then the third design that we have is called the rosetta. Um, it's a very intricate, complicated design with many leaves and layers that resembles kind of a, a fern. You won, bro. There's definitely technical skills required, but there's also a certain touch that one has to have in its place. It's, in that way, it's really not dissimilar from masonry or welding, you know, in that there is specific ways that compounds need to be mixed in order to form appropriately. But at the same time, you have to put some kind of aesthetic into it in order to have anything that anybody ever wants to look at. So I think it's a fairly equal mix of both uh, art and, and science. The really amazing thing about latte art is that it harkens back to a much earlier time in painting. I always think of Monet when I think of latte art because I think he's such a fantastic artist and, and he made all of his own oils. You know, that wasn't a choice, it was something that he had to do, was to create his own medium. And the baristas here are essentially doing the same thing. They're creating their own espresso, they're creating their own milk. And based on their skill in being able to create these mediums, and then their skill to be able to combine these two mediums, produces something that's either extraordinary or uh, sometimes kind of laughable. It's just been many moods. I think the reason that we're seeing its increase in popularity is because it's a very strong indicator of a quality beverage. And the industry more and more is being focused towards quality versus consumption or speed, as I think is true with craft industries all over the place.